This video shows a technique for dividing by polynomials. Now, it's basically the grid method in reverse. So what you do is, you put the divisor down, like so, x and minus 1, and you construct a grid to the right-hand side. We're not sure yet how big the grid will be necessarily, but you can't write that out. So I'll just add some columns just for the sake of it, like so. Now, this technique works out what two things times to make the original expression. Now, I need an x to the power of 5. Now, I've got an x here, so that must be times by x to the power of 4. Because so x times x to the power of 4 is x to the power of 5. But there's a minus 1 here. And minus 1 times x to the power of 4 is minus x to the power of 4. But I need 3x to the power of 4. I need an extra 4x to the power of 4. So minus 1 plus 4 is 3. And these therefore give the required numbers of x to the power of 4. There's an x here, so that must be times by 4x cubed. But minus 1 times 4x cubed is minus 4x cubed. Achieved that already. I want there to be no x cubes. So I must add on an extra 4x cubed. So x times what is 4x cubed? x times 4x squared. These now give us our x, cube, our x cubes, which have sort of been here somewhere. They aren't any of them at all. But minus 1 times 4x squared is minus 4x squared. I need to have 5x squared, so I need another 9x squared. As this now gives us our x squared. But there's an x here, so that needs a 9x, because x times 9x is 9x squared. But minus 1 times 9x is minus 9x, and I need a minus 10x. So I must take away another x, because that gives us our 10x. But x times what is minus 1x? x times minus 1. And then minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1, so that is now correct. So the answer is, on the top line, x to the 4, 4x cubed, 4x squared, 9x minus 1. And this can be written down in a sort of a converse way, that x minus 1 times by the answer must equal the original question. So, we have begun to factorise the original expression, and x minus 1 happens to be one of the factors.